It's National Payroll Week, which recognizes the hard work of Americans and the professionals who process and prepare paychecks. Joining us now is William Dunn. He's with the American Payroll Association, here to encourage everyone to do a paycheck check up. Great to see you, thank you. Hi Angie. What is National Payroll Week? Well, National Payroll Week is an annual celebration that takes place during the week of Labor Day. It was founded by the American Payroll Association to recognize America's 150 million wage earners and the payroll professionals who prepare their pay accurately on time, every time. And during National Payroll Week, the APA encourages everyone who works to do a paycheck checkup. And the point is to look for a couple simple ways to maximize your earnings and boost your savings. The new tax law created some major changes for American paychecks. What can you tell us? So it's important to do a paycheck checkup somewhat regularly. What you want, the first thing you want to do is check the withholdings on your Form W-4. That's the form that we use to tell our employers how much income tax to withhold from our pay. Last year, the tax tables were overhauled. And as a result, some people who expected to get tax returns ended up owing the IRS instead. Uh, and on the other side, plenty of people pay too much in taxes. So by adjusting your Form W-4 and using a, an online tax withholding estimator that we, we link to on our website, uh, you can determine whether you're having the correct amount of taxes withheld from your pay. What are more benefits of a paycheck checkup and how can people get the most for their hard earned money? There are a few adjustments that you can make that will help you save on your taxes, set aside money for a rainy day fund and maximize your retirement. So first, if you're being paid by direct deposit, talk to your payroll department and ask to split your pay into different accounts. Say, uh, part into your checking account to pay your bills and part into a savings account for that uh, vacation you're planning on. And second, take advantage of employer-provided retirement plans like a 401k plan. Money that you set aside in a 401k plan lowers your taxable income. So not only are you setting aside money for retirement, you're also helping your current financial situation. So those are tips to maximize your paycheck, maximize your savings, and maximize your retirement income. How can viewers get involved? During National Payroll Week, visit our website, nationalpayrollweek.com, and take our Getting Paid in America survey. It takes less than five minutes to complete and it helps us gauge important payroll trends. One lucky winner is going to earn an extra paycheck and a dream vacation for two. Uh, and also, during National Payroll Week, thank your payroll department. Uh, send them an email, stop by the department just to, to thank them for the, the work they're doing preparing your pay. I also understand that the American Payroll Association is offering education scholarships this year. Tell us more, please. For Money Matters National Education Day, September 5th, APA and our partner Workday are providing three scholarships to high school and college students. The, the application is free, it's simple to complete. And for more information on the uh, National Payroll Week, on that Getting Paid in America survey, and those Money Matters National Education Day scholarships, visit our website, nationalpayrollweek.com. Thank you so much, William, for being on our show. Thank you. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.